بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کیپ ایکسپلورنگ دا ٹاپک کریٹ کیلکولیٹڈ ٹیبلس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹو ویری امپارٹنٹ ڈیکس ٹیبل فنکشنس ٹاپ اینڈ اینڈ کراس جوائن وی ہیو آلریڈی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ کراس جوائن ایز پارٹ آف دا جوائنس فنکشنالٹی اینڈ وی ہیو سین دیٹ واٹ از دا کراس جوائن اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ ورکس سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور ہاؤ دا کراس جوائن ڈیکس فنکشن اینیبلس دا کراس جوائن آپریشن ان سائڈ دا پاور بی آئی انوائرمنٹ اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ از یوز ٹو کریٹ اے ٹیبل یوزنگ دا کراس جوائن ڈیکس فنکشن سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ایکسپلورنگ دا ٹاپ اینڈ فنکشن فرسٹ so i am inside the dax.guide website and we are looking at the top and dax function which says that it returns a given number of top rows according to a specified expression and if you have a look at the syntax then this is the syntax of this function so what is top and actually doing so it returns the top n so n could be any number so it returns top maybe 10 20 50 so n is a number that you specify you can specify anything and uh, uh, as part of the n value so it returns the top n rows and it returns it according to a specified dax expression so here if i have a look at the syntax so you are going to see four parameters the first one is the n value which is the number of rows which are returned then is the table obviously you need to pass a table so this is a table that you are going to pass to this particular function then there are two things which are related to the ordering so for the first one is the order by expression so whatever is inside the table and you need to specify the expression here the which is used to sort that particular table so this is a very important part here and last is that the sorting as we have seen can be either in the ascending order or it can be in the descending order so the default sorting for the top end function is is the is the descending order but we are going to see that how we can actually specify the uh the the sort order for this so these are the four parameters that are there in the top and dax function so now let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see how this top end function actually works so here we have created a table using the top end function and let's now have a look at what are the different parameters so the first parameter is the top end value so here the value is 10 so we are interested in seeing the just the 10 records then the second part is the table so here we have we are seeing something which we have already seen and we are using the summarize columns to create a table so this is a very interesting thing that we are passing inside a table function a virtual table which has been created using the summarize columns table function so this is the table that we already know is that we have a product brand and then we have for each product brand we have the total cost so what we are trying to do is that we are trying to do the uh, the operation uh, on this table and what is that operation so the operation here is the third parameter is that we want to do the the sorting based on the cost so remember that for the summarize columns this part we had 111 brands and for 111 brands we have the cost so we are telling through this that okay this is the table and you are going to sort this table based on the on the cost so remember that we have 111 values and the last thing that we are specifying here which is asc when asc stands for ascending that you have to pick the top 10 values based on the ascending order so ascending order means that the values are going to increase as we go down and so that is why the values that you are going to see here once the sorting is applied on this particular table and top 10 records are are, are brought these are the lowest 10 values so these are not necessarily in an order which are uh, in an ascend in an ascending order here but these are the top 10 values if you 
sort everything in an ascending order so let's say we have triple one product brands and we have these inside the table so these top values these top 10 values have been picked if the table have been sorted in the ascending order similarly if the table has been sorted in the descending order then these are the top values you so you are going to get the top values here so right now if we are doing it for the ascending order we are going to get the bottom values the lowest values the descending order is going to return the highest values so this is how this top end function actually works so it is important to understand the syntax that there are four parameters the first one is the end value second one is the table itself the third one is the expression that has to be used to actually sort this and the fourth one and the last one is the order that you want to pick the values from either it is in the ascending order or either it is in the descending order so now let me just change this from ascending to descending and let's see what is the difference in the results so now you can see that the formula has been modified for descending and now the values that you are seeing here are the top 10 highest values of the cost associated with the product brand so previously once we did it for the ascending then it was the lowest values now these are the highest values so this is a very important function that you can find on the pl300 exam make sure that you are familiar with the syntax of this particular function next dax table function is the cross join table function and here again on the dax.guide website we can see that the definition of this function says that it returns the table that is a cross join of the specified tables and in the syntax you just specify the tables that you want to cross join so here you can either pass a physical table or you can pass a virtual table so all it is going to do is that it is going to perform a cross join which is a Cartesian product which is a Cartesian products of all the rows from all the tables in the argument so you must have realized that this is a this is a very uh, computationally very heavy kind of a function but there are certain scenarios where you want to create a cross join between two tables so let's now go and create a see an example in the power via desktop in environment which uses the cross join DAX function so here we have created the table table cross join and we have used the cross join function here and remember i said that you need to pass the two tables and the tables could be physical or the tables could be virtual as well so we have used the values function and used product brand and the customer marital status as uh, as the arguments to create two tables so both of these tables are single column so this is going to result in a single column uh, and this is also going to result in a single column but it could be anything that you want to put here it could be table with multiple columns but just for the sake of understanding here once we do the cross join you see that there are 222 rows so we remember from our previous examples that the product brand has 111 uh, records and the marital status can can be either married or it could be single so the cross join results in 222 rows so for every value of product brand you have a combination with the marital status so we have for the merit the product brand and for the single we have the all the possible values of the product brand so this is how you can use the cross join function but again remember the limitation that this could be a very heavy function in terms of computation because all the values will have combinations with all the other values or all the other records in the other table so again this is a very important function in terms of the understanding the the syntax is very simple so make sure that you understand how this cross join function works so that's all for this video and I'll catch up with you in the next video.